Today we are putting in a new steering wheel with paddle shifting. Um, so what I did was I actually bought this wheel off of a seller on eBay and it's a genuine OEM BMW wheel. It just, it's the exact same one that I have, just in a lot better condition, like basically brand new. Um, and it just has the paddle shifters on it. So we're going to retrofit this to my car and my car is not pre-wired for paddle shifting. So it's gonna be a two part process. We're going to first uh, wire the car for paddle shifting and then we are going to install the actual wheel. Enjoy. So for the first part of this, you guys, we're gonna to want to go ahead and disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Just cover it up there. So for this next part, this is where we're actually going to be wiring the car for the paddle shifters. And we need to remove this plastic strip right here. And then we need to remove this plastic piece right here. And then also there's a plastic piece underneath here that we need to remove. So I found that this works best with a couple of trim tool pieces. Uh, these are great to have in the arsenal because you can use these for a lot of different things, especially on this car. So what we're gonna do is, first, we're just gonna be popping this piece off. And it should just come off right like that. Well, you'll see that these little plastic pieces that connect to this didn't come with it. So we want to take these out of the car and put them back onto this piece. The next piece that's going to come off is the piece under here. In order to remove this, we need to remove this. And I believe that is a 10 mil. Let's just get in there with our socket wrench here. It should just come right out. The next move is going to be pulling this piece out. So you're gonna notice that there's two, well, three or four actually, plugs, but the only one that we're messing with is this white one right here. And basically you gotta push in this little clip and pull that lever up on top. So, just folds up like that, comes out. Okay, so next, you get a Pushing these little tabs here. And that will slide right out just like that. So basically, the way that you know if your car is pre-wired for paddle shifting is number five right here will have a pin in it. As we can see, mine does not. So all I'm doing for these, I'm just taking the wires twisting them together, and then I'll take a bit of electrical tape. And the first part that I wrap, I go around the exposed wire, and I just leave a little bit of excess. And I'll go like this. I'll run it around, nice and tight. And then I actually fold the wire onto the other part of the wire. And I tape it to that and then I, I roll the tape back so it covers any of the exposed wire. Um, is this how they do it at factory BMW? Probably not, but it's, it's fine for our application today. So it's just gonna look like that, and it's fine, it'll hold up, I've done this before. So all you do, here I'll do it with you guys from the beginning, take the two spliced ends, like that, and then I just twist them together and tight all the way to the top and then I'll fan them out like that. The bar is exposed. Go ahead and take a little bit more electrical tape. You don't need much, maybe an inch and a half, two inches of electrical tape. Um, wrap around like that. Get 
once around the exposed wire and then fold it and finish up the barrel roll of electrical tape. All right, so the next step is we're gonna pull out this little pin clip guy here. And if you see, this is where we're going. We wanna go into five. I'm gonna have to kind of sneak it in there. There's not a whole lot of room for me to actually get into the harness. Man, got it. So now it's in there. So you see that one, two, three, four, five now has a pin. And our number five is going to be ran along here. So I just wanted to show you guys Terminal 5 now has the black wire coming out of it and that, that will be for our paddle shifting. And what we're going to do is we're going to run that cable all along here, underneath here, we're going to zip tie it and then it's going to go back behind the console. I'm actually going to pull this out so we can feed it through a little easier. Um, and then it's going to go back behind the console and into the, the rear assembly of the steering wheel. The piece that we're going to feed the wire through is this right here. It's just going to be a little bit easier for us to access the wire. To remove this piece, it's very simple. Just take your, tr your trim tool, stick it up top, pop, and it comes right out. So now you can see we have access to the rear head unit and we can go ahead and feed from the other side through here and then up to the assembly. So there are a couple of methods for feeding wire through and I just fed I just fed mine through so we have it coming out right here and there's our wire. So the way that I usually like to do this is I'll get down there I'll shine the light through here and do you see where that glare is coming out? That means that's where my hole is. That's where I can run it. And I look to see where the light is. And wherever that light is coming through, that's where I start force feeding the cable, the wire. You can use a coat hanger, but you you don't have to. You, I mean, you can get it through with your with your hands. I just did it with my hands, so. So that's a good tip for when you're running wire. You just shine the light into the dark crevices, and if it comes out on the other side, then you know there's a path through there, and you can run the cable. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of slack down here because I'm going to eventually tie this up, but I wanna make sure that I have a little bit of play to work with so I can put the plastic pieces back on. Onto the dreaded portion of this install, removal of the actual airbag. Now I already did it, probably took me about 15 minutes to figure it out, but I'll tell you what really helped me out with this. I used the steering wheel that I bought and I found that you're going to be using a flathead screwdriver and I found that um, being able to channel this steering wheel and figure it out like just by feel of how it works with this steering wheel off so I could see where the actual clip was in and I also, it also told me like the depth right so I could figure out how far I actually needed to go in order to do it. So having a separate another steering wheel here that I could test it on before actually doing it on my steering wheel helped out a lot. So if you look in the steering wheel you'll see that this comes up like that right? Your flathead comes in like that. There's essentially a clip that goes around this and you want to knock it in. So I found that when you put the screwdriver in right it should be this way so it slides in a little bit easier and then what you want to do is turn it so it's easier to use the screwdriver like this and unclip that little piece rather than trying to hit it like this so it it was definitely not it wasn't easy it was tedious but if you just keep at it you'll eventually get it. it. It took a while, but eventually I did get it. And having that separate steering wheel really helped me navigate in here because I knew exactly how far up I had to go with the screwdriver.
All right, so the next step is we're just gonna be removing these two clips from inside of the steering wheel assembly and therefore your airbag and your controls. So once you have that removed, you can go ahead and take the actual airbag assembly out. So the next step is pretty straightforward. You just need a 16 millimeter deep socket and this is gonna be on there very tight. So you're gonna need, um, I used a breaker bar to get it off. It's just a little bit easier. But once you do that, you should be able to remove this. And then from there, it's pretty straightforward. You just go ahead and pull and voila, the wheel comes off. But for the next part, there is a leather covering back here and we're gonna be removing that with our trim tool. And then next, we're gonna be pulling off this assembly. There we go. Just like that. Remove the bottom piece, there's just two little tabs that you need to pull on. There's that side, there's that side. For this next part, we have four seven millimeter bolts that we need to remove. So once you remove the four screws, you're just gonna go ahead and pull out the entire assembly. And in the back of the assembly, there are two plugs. And the one with the gray latching system um, is the one that we're gonna be working with. To unclip this, you just press in and pull out. It should come right out, just like that. So you have to remove the actual body of the pin. Um, I don't recommend using a knife, but that's all I have on me at the moment. So I'm just gonna use it, pop it out, pull this guy out. So this is just basically the, the housing, the body housing for this plug. And what we're looking for is uh, number three is where we need to have our pin. Yeah, so we do not have a pin in number three, but we already knew that when we checked that we would have to be wiring this for paddle shifting. So the way to figure this out is if you look on the actual plug, you're gonna see numbers. You're gonna see six. They're very, very small and kind of hard to see, but you're gonna see six, and then you're going to see 12, and you're gonna see seven. The slot that we're looking for is three. And if you look at mine, one, two, three, I have nothing in there. Now that we know where it is, let's go ahead and take the wire that we fed through, feed it back through here, and through here, and into that pin system. So I have the wire, I just stuck my hand through this, this housing right here, and I was able to pull it through the other side. So that was actually a very easy feed. Um, and then you can just go ahead and don't pull it too tight though. I still want a little bit of slack on the other side so I can fasten everything uh, appropriately. So before I do any tightening down or uh, zip tying, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in three where it belongs. Just like that. So now, we should be set for paddle shifting. So after we get that plugged in, we can go ahead and bring our housing back. Slide the housing back in. Then we will go ahead and insert the plug back into the rear cluster piece. <laughs> Making up terms as I go. <laughs> and then we can start reassembling everything. So theoretically, um, at this point, we should be wired for paddle shifting. So you don't want to over tighten these, you just want to tighten them down um, to feel because it is a screw going into plastic and it's easy to strip that plastic if 
you're not careful. What up? Hey, what's up? What's going on? I just got my carbon mirror, dude. They're so nice. Did you put them on? No, I haven't done it yet. All right, so we are in the final stretch here. Um, everything is installed. I did turn the car on and try it out. Paddle shifting was not working. So we have to assume that the car is just not coded for paddle shifting. We're gonna go ahead and open up our Beamer Code app. It's identifying ECUs. So overall, not too bad of an install. Um, without question, getting the airbag out is the most difficult part, especially if you've never done it before. It really helped that I had a, another wheel that I could just look at and kind of visualize how to unhook that pin. That made it a ton easier. So, here we go, we're in. Front electronic module is where we wanna go. Some people, I was reading on the forums and some people are saying that it's only one code you need to do. Some people are saying it's two or three. These things are, you just gotta test them. You don't know, you, no one really has an exact answer because there's so many different models and so many variables and so many, you just never know how it's gonna turn out. You gotta try different methods. Watching Brian over at Keys Motorsports, watching his video, like, dude, you are a legend. Like, you you made it so much easier for me to do this. Boom, steering wheel pedals. Uh, variable, uh, active. Uh, oh, this could be it. I think that's it. So what I did, guys, is I went into 3190 PF steering wheel, wheel paddles. I went to paddles, verbout, and then I changed that to active. I think that's it. I think this is the, I think this is it. Coding, you guys, we're so close. We're so close, let's hope. After I changed everything and I turned the car on and it didn't, it didn't shift to the paddles, I was like, oh. <laughs> like, do I have to redo everything? All right, let's start the car. Car starts, that's good. Let's put it in drive. We have paddles. We have paddle shifting. We are good. You guys, we are good. We are good. Dude, I'm so jacked up right now. You guys. See that changing with my paddle? Yeah! <laughs>